Hey, this is Jamie with Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the classic game, Kingdom Builder. I played Kingdom Builder for the first time on Board Game Arena recently. I played in person before, but uh, I realized I haven't done a video about it, even though it's been around for a while, and so I wanted to mention it today. Uh, there are a couple things that I really, really like about Kingdom Builder, and the first is goes into the setup. In Kingdom Builder, uh, you combine four different boards together to form one board, and they fit together really well. Uh, I did a video recently about maps and game boards and things like that, and I think this is a great way to add a lot of replayability to the board. It's a very, to the game, it's a really, really well-designed board variability system. Two, I really like the simplicity of a, of a turn, what a, what a turn is in Kingdom Builder. And this came to light in the game that we played, because in Kingdom Builder, all you're doing, you have one card in hand, and you are choosing, uh, based on that card, where you are going to place one building, and then hopefully two other buildings, um, or definitely two other buildings, three buildings on your turn. Um, and it adds to, it, it sounds so simple, and it is so simple, and I think that's good that it's so simple, but there are lots of different options as to where you can do that and how you can kind of block yourself in to, to give yourself an out if you don't want to build in that territory anymore or that, that terrain type. Um, but one overarching thing that came up when we played recently is one of the people one of the people I was playing with was learning the game and they said, oh, do I have to spend resources to do this? How do I actually build the building? And the answer was, you don't have to do any of that stuff. You just play the card and you put a building down. And I hadn't really thought about that before, but I like how simple that is. It's very abstracted. In real life, yes, you'd be assigning, you'd, you'd be hiring people and spending money and hiring people and getting, gathering resources to build a thing. But sometimes you don't need to do all that in a game to make it interested, to, to make it interesting. So yes, it's abstracted, but I like how it removes all those extra things that might fit better in like a meaty Euro weight game. But, uh, or Euro style game, heavier weight Euro style game. But I think they work really well in, in a much more streamlined game like, game like Kingdom Builder. The last thing I wanna mention that I don't think I even really noticed the first few times I played Kingdom Builder in real life um, is how much I enjoy uh, the, the boost to your turn that building near certain buildings uh, does. So there's certain uh, hexes on the board that are, that are randomly determined at the beginning of the game that have special buildings that give you the opportunity to take special actions on your turn. So you have your, your standard action and you can take one of these bonus actions after you've done that. And I had a lot of fun with that in the game that we played recently on Board Game Arena. And it just made me really admire uh, the idea of how your turn starts off really simply, but over the course of the game, it can get more complex as you have these other actions that you're allowed to take. Last, I do want to mention that I love how the goals work in the game. I think they, they work really, really well. Uh, at least in the game I played, there were four different goals out, that things that were saying like, hey, you get points if you build next to mountains or next to uh, uh, castles, things like that. And just trying to manage and combine those goals to the best of your ability is a really, really fun puzzle. I love games that give you a few goals that... Uh, that interact together or, or have some overlap or potential overlap so that you can find ways to achieve multiple goals with a single turn or a single placement or a single building. I think that's really, really clever. And I love how that works in Kingdom Builder. I'd love to hear what you think as well. If you have a different favorite mechanism in Kingdom Builder or you know you want to mention something about some of the expansions in the game or some other things or, or this reminds you of another game that uses any of these mechanisms, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.